Charlotte. I'm with Uncle Sintastic. JB's toy trunk is in the little the little trunks room. <laughs> the, the, little trunks <laughs> the little trunks room. The rest of the guys are uh, probably here they're somewhere. Probably at the con. Yeah, they're probably already. We didn't realize where we parked. We're in the convention hall. Like the uh, what was it? Like, I, yeah. I love. By the way, I love letting you do all the work with all the talking. Keep going. <laughs> well, you're motivating me to not f up. Now we were here back in November. You guys probably remember we went to the Charlotte Mini Con. Which but, sucked. For, for lack of a better word, it, it was underwhelming for what we expected it to be. Yeah. How's that? Is, that? is that a good word? Yeah. Chest slap. I love him. I love him. Uncle Santastic bought me a toy, a toy this weekend, all right? And I'm gonna, I almost got emotional, but that's a whole other story. But we're out here at the Charlotte Convention Center. We're doing Heroes Con. This is a show I've always wanted to check out. Um, we're being told it's mostly comics. That's fine. I have a couple books that I'm looking to pick up. Um, very, probably not many toys. That's okay. We're probably going to be here for a couple hours. We'll run through it. And then maybe we'll go somewhere afterwards. I'm not sure. But as soon as JB gets... Oh, there he is. There's little Trunk. Come over here. <laughs> With his Cantina Moss Eisley shirt. That's right. Let's go. What's up, bro? Hey. All right. Um, I, saw, I saw what was in the trunk when we got up here at Uncle Sintas. It's a big man fest right now. It's about to be even bigger man fest when we get to the uh, rest <laughs> well, of the guys. Well, let's look, let's look how crowded it is. Do a, do a quick 360. Oh, yeah. Check this out, guys. Look how look busy this is. Look at this. Hurry up. Let's go. Ooh, let's nothing. go. We're going to go up get our tickets. So let's get into this show. Let's see what it's about. And let's get the hunt started. We found everybody. We have Sentry. We have Zach Jack Dan. We have Zach Legend right there. We have Man Cave. We have his buddy Matt. JB is now over there. He's too cool for us, apparently. So yeah, we just got our our press badges. It looks like we may have found our first toy booth, Sure Thing Toys. So we'll see if there's anything that we need to get. You know, some NECA horror. Most of these we already have or don't need. Oh, here's something we don't have. 50 bucks that is probably the best price i've ever seen for these are like a 60 65 dollar set well this one we got some storm collectibles over here we have the ken that we're looking at at retro toys and collectibles no i don't see one brand new in the box yeah look at that scorpion man. i have this one you got that scorpion i believe so yeah my buddy got me this for christmas oh 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 you need that Oh, I need that right there. There's Does this come them. with the belts? Huh? Does it come with belts? I actually need I need the older version of him. That's the older version. Does it come with belts? I don't hmm. think so. Did Jason say he needed this? Yeah, he was looking for a do back. Okay. 140. That's the one that's the one I was talking about in the car with this yeah, with the, that's uh, the one he wanted, right? I think so, yeah. Let's figure out how to put this damn figure back. <laughs> uh. Oh, there you guys go. We're going to be ripping this one open soon, an episode of Let's Open. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. That's going to be a fun one. I'm still actually debating if I want to do that, but, hey, I need a Cara Dune, so I do what you got to do. I don't really see anything that I need. I mean, it's a lot of the same old stuff, a lot of the troopers. C-3PO's, your Jawas, all that fun stuff. But they do have a very nice selection. It's very colorful, this whole top row. It's great. Yeah, it? it is. It's awesome. Yeah, the first one is a little, almost rubbed off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I saw the, you know. $10, hey, I think anyone would have gotten it. I still need this figure, but I'm not paying 45 I mean, he said the prices are negotiable, but... I'm, so, a, I'm at a Zach Jack Dan with this one. Be like, so how about free? How about free? We'll start from there. <laughs> little inside joke. Uh, I already looked for Beta Ray Bill. More Star Wars on this side. And a lot of cool stuff up here. I like the Diamond Ahsoka Tano bust. And the Injustice Bane is really cool. This is something I really have to get at some point. The uh, Walmart exclusive TIE Fighter. Look for it. Oh, 140. 140 said prices are negotiable. <laughs> Devil's 
one thing. Um, I'm right now. When I get this, if you miss it, it's got to be better than anything we can be doing. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't right now because Sorry, fantastic. Great. I don't know, maybe it's just because 50? <laughs> you found the Jersey Geek, where? What you looking at, some Star Wars? Yeah, I was looking at the Ezra and oh, then the uh, Commander Wolf. Those are some I'm checking out these Iron Maiden right Super 7s, man. Oh, there's your Keith Bannon next That looks you. familiar right there, that doesn't it? That looks very familiar. Check these guys out. Oh, there's your penguin. <laughs> we go call Marsha. So basically, stuff is out for between. Is there a price on this corner jacks? I gotta ask the guy. There's the night wolf and the and the baraka. Damn, he looks pretty nasty. Look at that. Look at that face sculpt. That detail on the teeth. Look at the eyes. This I have to see. I'll do whatever I can to try and get it for you. As long, like I said, as long as it's I've never seen that. This is the Superman alien. So they did the Batman and they did the Superman. How much is that? No, I've never seen this one. This is probably it's probably not cheap. Yeah. We finally made a purchase. We're gonna get the Walmart exclusive Imperial Tie Fighter, and managed to get it for fifty bucks. So cannot wait to add this to the collection. We're gonna go find Man Cave. He just called me. They're over here in aisle 2000. There's a Super 7 figure that I need. So we're gonna go over there and see if it's still there. Oh, there they are right here. Thanks to Man Cave for looking out. We were able to complete our Super 7 Turtles. We now have Wrath. Now we're done. Um, still looking around. If there's any more Super 7, we'll certainly pick them up. Uh, probably get like a Foot Soldier, Shredder, Splinter, April. Maybe the whole, we'll just get the whole line. How's that? We'll just get everyone that's come out so far. I am on the lookout for a Bebop. We picked up Rocksteady, so now I need Bebop. So we're continuing to look around. There's a lot to go through. It is mostly comics, like, like the Charlotte Minicon. A lot of comics and a lot of like local art, but it, it's a good show. There's so much here to look at. I don't even think we're halfway through. So let's go ahead and continue on. Found some really nice comic posters right here. Some of these will look great in the comics closet. Look at that. And then there's Weed to the Monsters, which is another one that was just done, I think, by Frank Russell. That's a two parter that has all the monsters. But it has all the monsters in it. Right, some action comics. Great. <laughs> yes, look at that. That is really cool. Six bucks each or any four for 20. That is a real cool print right there. I like the Silas Cooper comic print, man. Six bucks each or uh, four for 20. Starting at just $2. Uh, that, that one doesn't look like it's $2 to me, but hey, it might be $2. That might have been an old price. Oh, see some Star Wars. Oh, oh, we got Darth Maul. Four dollars. Okay, this one, this is a pot. I think we're gonna get this one. Now, the other Star Wars we were looking at, I'm gonna put Darth Maul right there, is the Galaxy's Edge one. This is the one you could have gotten at Walmart. And this one is two dollars. I'm not a big fan of this uh, little barcode sticker, but I'm sure it'll come off with no problem. But hey, for for two dollars yeah we're, we're gonna get those two so six dollars total for that um there's more star wars to the left of me but there's someone 
over there. I don't want to be rude, so I'll wait till they're done. Strain. Two bucks for the strain? Volume. If I see volume five though, like if they had the rest of them, I would certainly buy them. And Mars Attacks action. There you go. Look at that. Four bucks. Coming down to the other Star Wars books, we have two more copies of Galaxy's Edge. So I'm going to see which one is in better shape and uh, go with that. Because this one's a little bit beat. I mean, yeah, it's it's two dollars. But if I'm going to buy it, I might as well. What's going on? What you find it now, Two dollar Star Wars uh, Ooh, nice. books. And you said you wanted some graphics. Why yeah, yeah. Legions. This one. All right. Screw it. Grab that. Two dollars. I mean, you guys, you can't go wrong. I mean, when are you ever gonna find anything like this for two dollars? This one, I think, is in the best shape. So we're gonna go ahead and get that one. Put this one back. Original Marvel years, look at that. You know what? Screw it, why not? And then Rogue One, we got Rogue One wise. They made a John Wick comic. I didn't know that. Four bucks. We're gonna grab this too. Now we're on the inside of his booth and he's got a lot more Star Wars. These are all priced at a discount. So I already went through, nothing I really need, but these prices are still really good. There's volume three of the Empire. I think he wants 30 on that. Uh, oh, I missed the Chewbacca. Not that I really care so much for Chewbacca, but 10 bucks, I mean, brand new sealed. So can't go wrong there. Uh, Syntastic actually is picking out this spawn. $53 for that. There's so much to go through. But Gem City Books. There's a Larry, the Larry Hama G.I. Joe figure. All right, thank you, bro. I always thought that was cool. Oof. book I wouldn't mind getting Alpha Flight number one nine six 
very nice book. 200. I love the old Big Lot sticker. This is actually Needless Toys and Collectibles booth. And all the same AEW figures that we keep seeing. We have all these pretty much. Greg the Hammer Valentine, Sergeant Slaughter. So this Miss Elizabeth, uh, Dan and I were just talking. We found her the other day at one of the collectible stores we went to. We found her loose just in a bin of figures. So yeah, I wasn't sure if it was her or not. And Turns out it is her. I think the guy wanted like 10 bucks loose. So that's that. We got Typhoon. Right here you have the ultimate fan pack for Randy Savage. These were cool. I remember Randy Savage. I remember John Cena. I, did they do a Roman Reigns? I, I can't quite remember, but I know they did a few. Oh, there's some basics down here. A little Rick Root action. Shawn Michaels. A little Alicia Fox. And some Triple H. Storm Collectibles come well. Got a Sub Zero down there, Sector, Death Adder, and we have the Motaro. Unfortunately, I have them all, but it's still cool to see Storm Collectibles showing up at the con. Saw your Transformers. That Skywarp and that Thundercracker. Those are amazing. If you had Starscream, you got your. Got your three planes right there. Some of the Motu classics. Mr. Fantastic was looking at these a little bit ago. Moss Man. This one's really cool, actually. It's very nice. 80 bucks for that. Triclops. Some more down here. I got Merman. Merman's 90. This is a really nice looking figure Lord Wraith down there alright guys so check this out this is diabolical designs look at these display stands we have mask display stands right here with the movie logo down there these look you got stands for your different ash heads from Evil Dead little screen 4 mask stand Cool. Hey, I got Halloween. Uh, this is my fit. So this is a figure display stand for you know, your Halloween three figures from, from NECA. And I'm going to show you in a little bit what that looks like when it's all set up. But these are, this is amazing work. This is what we're missing in the community. No one does this. There's, you know, we can buy figure stands, but stuff like this. Look, you can do Star Wars. Look, you got your Power Rangers down here. Here's what the Halloween 3 looks like when it's all displayed. Look at that. Tell me you would not want to get one of these knowing what that looks like when it's all set up. Although, 
That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. And here is their card. I'm gonna link this down below. Diabolical Designs. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be uh, hitting these guys up because I have that three pack and I think it would look amazing if I had them displayed like that. Roblox wouldn't be a bad one. Cobra so, Commander? I would say Cobra Commander and for 20 bucks. So we're at a, another toy booth. Uncle Santastic is trying to pick out a really nice classified figure to get Larry Hama to sign. So we're just going through the figure choices. Is there any are there any more classified or is that it? That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, there might be some like hidden away, so definitely make sure you look. Maybe something like down there in that bin. Pro There's probably not, but you never know. There's a lot of legends in McFarland in this booth. We'll probably tell them ahead of time. Oh, speaking of legends. 35. Now coming out of that booth, look what they have. I have never seen this in my life. This is a really, really nice ring. And supposedly it's signed i i don't know maybe it is i don't see why you would lie about something like that but see i'm collecting wrestling rings for a display and this this would this would look great this would be probably a centerpiece in that collection and then you have this awesome macho man robe right next to it is that the one you're getting uh mr fantastic yes. getting you the cobra commander yep all right off we go to meet larry hama Taking over Jersey's phone right here. I'm gonna get in line here for Larry Hammond. To get him an autograph. Amazing G.I. Joe Ryder. Don't do that. Don't do that. Would you care for it uh, personalized or just autograph? What's your name? Craig, G R E G. Okay. Oh, thank you, Greg. Oh, this yeah, is the ragtag group that he would have been with. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. G-R-E-G. You enjoyed the show so far? Thank you for coming out. I missed it two or three times before. Really? You know, circumstances happened. Yeah. Then, then, you know, I had a conflict. And then... Well, things happen. Did you hear that? Pandemic happened. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah, supposed to come that year, the, the pandemic. Right, right, yeah. 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 That was that, yeah. yeah, we're actually from Jersey. Uh, we're from down to visit some buddies down here, so. Can I do a picture as well? All right, so we're back home. Uh, I, I didn't realize that uh, I didn't properly end any of my videos. <laughs> the uh, Toy Hunt video, the Heroes Con video, but... Uh, you know, there was so much going on that it just, things happen, you know what I mean? But it's not a big deal. As you saw from the footage, we had a really fun time. Lots to look at. Um, a lot more than we kind of thought there was going to be. We uh, really didn't expect there to be as much at this convention, but hey, we picked up a lot of really cool things. Speaking of cool things, I had nothing to show you guys. Why? I had to ship it all back. <laughs> Everything I got between our toy hunt the heroes convention all had to get shipped home uh there was no way i was fitting that in my carry-on and when you guys see that you'll know why uh but there will be a whole separate video uh for the pickups portion that might be out sometime next week uh no man cave just informed me that he shipped it today so it should be here by wednesday or thursday 
So I say expect a Toy Hall, North Carolina Toy Hall, either that Friday or that Monday. It just depends on the schedule and, you know, how everything else goes. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave some likes and comments down below. Let me know if you were at the show or what you picked up or, you know, if you weren't at the show, what did you see that that you liked. If you guys enjoy toy hunting videos and toy show videos, consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. And like always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.